Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, in last class, we have uh, in, uh, learned about the, some basic concepts in C++ programming. We have learned uh, the, the what is the program and uh, how to define a function in C++ program, programming. And uh, we have also introduced uh, a very important uh, function, the main function. Uh, does any of you remember why the main function is special? Uh, there must be a main function and only one main function. Yeah, that's uh, great. Uh, yeah. Excellent <laughs> answer. So the main function must e exist in every C++ program. And the main function is the only function that the operating system explicitly calls. So the main function is like the uh, entrance of a C++ program and the operating system go into this function and uh, execute each statement, each statement of the main function until the end of the main function or until it encounters a return statement or an error occurred, right? Okay, uh, in today's class, uh, I'll uh, continue to introduce some uh, uh, key, uh, key concepts in CPP programming. Uh, let's move to how to, uh, after we uh, write a program, we need to Compile the program and uh, and to execute the program. So first, uh, w after we have written the program, we need to compile it. Why we need to compile a program? Anybody? Because. The because uh, our program needs to be compiled in order for the operating system to execute. The operating system can only uh, know about some executable file. So it's not a, our original file is not in executable format. So we need to compile it. How to compile a program depends on what is uh, what kind of system, operating system you use and uh, what compiler you choose. Uh, here we, I assume that you are using uh, Unix and uh, Linux uh, like system. In those systems, uh, the GNU compiler is a default compiler. But before compile the program, uh, what should we do? Any guess? Okay. So before we compile the program, we need to see, for example, this piece of code into a file. Because the program must be in a file that the compiler can deal with this file and compile this file. Uh, so the, the program file in C++ programming is often called as the source file. The, the name of the source file contains of, uh, consists of two parts, a file name and a suffix. The suffix is very important because of several uh, ways. First, the, suff the suffix indicates that this, this file is a program. And the second, the, the, suffix, the suffix indicates uh, what language the program is written. And the third, the suffix also indicates which compiler should be chosen to compile this file. For, uh, for GNU compiler, it treats 
of file name with suffix the cc as an as a source file of CPP program. So we we, we store our is uh, we store our code into a file called example.cc. So this is our uh, source file. There are also many other legal file names for CPP program. Uh, like example uh, the CPP or example the capital C. They are all legal files. Okay. After after we saved our code into a source file, uh, we can compile this file. The the uh, the commands to compile the uh, the program is uh, like this. is the system prompt and this command uh, generates an executable file called example okay. to, to run the program we type the, this command the dollar sign is also the system prompt and the dot slash example this will execute the program. The dot slash means that uh, uh, we, when we uh, run, when we want to run a program, we need to specify the, the path of this file. So the dot slash means that uh, th this program is under current folder. Okay. So uh, as we uh, run this program, it just uh, down um, like nothing happens because we have only one function main function and uh, this function only returns a value of zero. So can anyone remember that a, a return value of zero means what of the main function? Uh, so a uh, return value of zero of the main function means that uh, the successful completion of the main function. Any other value than zero usually means an error occurred. Okay, I think. Uh,